I am Dr. Smita Singh and today I am going to discuss with you biodiversity. First of all, what is biodiversity? Biodiversity word is made up from two words, bio and diversity. Bio means life and diversity stands from versatility. So biodiversity is versatility among living organisms from different sources, for example, aquatic, terrestrial, marine ecosystems of our earth. Sometimes scientists take biodiversity as totality of genes, species and ecosystems of our earth. There are three levels of biodiversity, genetic biodiversity, species biodiversity and ecosystem biodiversity. First of all, we will discuss genetic biodiversity. Genetic biodiversity is diversity in genes. For example, we have three breeds of dogs, for example, Labrador, Pomerian and German Shepherd. They all are dogs but look different from each other because they carry different genes. We human beings are also different from each other because we carry different genetic makeup. Then we come to species biodiversity. Species biodiversity is versatility among different species. In a forest, you can find grass, insects, lion, tiger, all with each other. They all come into different species, but they all live together in same region. So it is a diversity among species of same region. Third level of diversity is ecosystem and community diversity. This is the diversity of a place at the level of ecosystem. It has three perspectives, alpha diversity, beta diversity and gamma diversity. Alpha diversity is diversity within the species. Beta diversity is diversity between two different communities. In this kind of diversity, species or different organisms share two different communities. The third level of diversity is gamma diversity in which we can see the diversity of habitat over the total geographical area. Now we come to values of biodiversity. What do we get from this biodiversity? We get oxygen, food, water, medicines from biodiversity. In India, we have a very long and very safe history of herbal medicines. And these herbal medicines have their roots in this biodiversity. We can get food, water and all the things which we need for a good life from biodiversity. For example, if there will be no biodiversity in flora, then we have to eat same grains, for example, wheat grains or rice grains in our daily diet. Then you can imagine what will be nutritional value of your food. With all of these things, biodiversity also has a very major role in social values. There are a list of plants, for example, people and Tulsi, which have their ethnomedicinal values and also a list of social values. Now we come to hotspots of biodiversity. These are the regions of biodiversity where we can find threatened species. There are more than 25 regions of hotspots at global level and among them two are in India only. The name of hotspots in India are Indo-Burma region and Western Ghats. There are two criteria of determining hotspots. Number one, number of endemic species and number two, degree of threat. Indo-Burma region of hotspots include all Thailand, Bhutan, Indonesia, Cambodia and Vietnam region. Indo-Burma is one of the most threatened biodiversity hotspot. Western Ghats are also known as Sayadri Hills. It also includes Sri Lanka region. Now we come to threats of biodiversity. Extinction is a natural process but man and its activity are the greatest threat for biodiversity. In situ conservation is conservation of species or living organisms in its natural habitat or in a protected area. For example, sanctuaries and national park. In our India, we have a great list of national parks and sanctuaries. For example, Ranthambore National Park, 
Jim Corbett National. The second category of conservation is ex situ conservation, in which we conserve the components of living organisms outside their natural habitats. Gene banks, seed banks, and sperm banks are very good examples of ex situ conservation. There are more than 800 zoos and more than 1500 botanical garden all over the world. In India, we also have many gene banks. National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources in New Delhi is one of the example of this. Now you can understand the need of biodiversity. So come and conserve.